What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to explore the new feature of the new version 4 of Blender about repeat zone in geometry nodes. So finally here this feature is uh, for me a milestone that can let you repeat a portion of uh, your workflow in geometry nodes without using uh, simulation nodes or duplicating the entire group node in your geometry node setup. So let's jump into an example of this uh, feature. So I'm working on uh, Blender version 4 and we can start to add with the Shift A Mesh Cube plus General Geometry Nodes. Click New to create a new geometry node system and let's add with F3 Repeat Zone. This zone is similar to the simulation zone but in this case we have a iteration number here that you can set with a custom number or getting it from a, a, an external part of this zone. We have an input and an output and inside this we have a repeating operation and after this repeating operation for each frame you can get an output from it or multiple output from this zone to use to the rest of your setup. So in this case I'm going to link the original geometry, the cube, and link the output of this geometry, nothing changes, and we can extrude for example a part of this mesh, so all these faces, and you can see if I increase this number the extrude mesh will affect on all the faces and the new faces created by the previous extrude mesh of the first iteration. So I don't want this I want to filter or limit the second and the third and the n repeating operation of the extruding mesh only on the top of the new faces created by this node and to do this we can export this top selection to this input of the repeat output node and you can see we have the same attribute passing to the new input of the next iteration and we can link this top to the selection of our extrude mesh. So we can see nothing happens here in the first iteration and the second because in the start point of this geometry no face is set to 1 and we can't select any faces to extrude the mesh. So the mesh remains the same as the input. So if I check this top for the initial values of this attribute, I have the first extrusion operation on all the faces and then I pass this top limit to this output and reuse this as the input of the second iteration, the second and the third, etc. Now if I set Two, you can see the creation of the new faces from the previous and if you want to have a more beauty on this shape we can scale the elements of these new faces and we can set a scale of 0.95 to decrease the scale a little bit for each iteration so if I increase the iteration you can see this effect but you can see I need to select only the top selection of this extrude mesh to my maintain the previous uh, scale of the previous creation and extrusion operation. After that we can add a set position inside in the middle, limit the selection in the same way and we can change the position of each new face created by this extrusion with a rotation by the position itself and adding a vector rotate node. As we can see we can use uh, this node or we can use the new node called rotate vector that is more easy to use in this case. I can set a rotation of uh, 5 degrees for uh, each axis and link this to the position and this is the result. So I can scale more or less each iteration. I can increase or decrease the rotation of each iteration and increase or decrease the iteration of the extra to manipulate the shape as I want. Right click, shade auto smooth and this is a simple example to use this repeat zone and you can see you can have a shape as you want and if you have uh, issues like these you can easily decrease the offset scale, decrease a little bit the rotation and increase with a high number the 
iterations and increase a little bit the scale and this is a simple shape that you can create from this feature i think with this feature blender has almost all the tools that you can use to manipulate your geometry setup like coding with uh, any other language like python for example uh, so in this case we have conditions and finally loops inside the same frame because of this uh, new feature i will update my previous tutorial that has a duplicated group node and I will replace this part with the using of this repeat zone to simplify the entire workflow. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you like it, please play with this feature because it's very very interesting, as always you can download this project from my Gumroad page or create it from scratch and see you to the next tutorial, bye!